What's up guys, this is Helium Lemon 15. You already knew who it is. You didn't need me to tell you. Uh welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. This is part 55, I believe. And today is June 20th, 2019. It's in the uh, early evening. I'm recording in the early evening right now. And Finley's back, this this arrogant, pompous deceiver. Uh so yeah, he's impressed that we did all that uh, dolphin training, and now he's uh, going to give us the secret. He's going to tell us <clears throat> to go to the Arctic Ocean again and look for a beluga. What an opportunity. First a narwhal, and now a famous sea canary. Don't forget to write it in your notebook so you don't forget. I never forget. I never forget these things. I have a mind like a steel trap, or a mind like a steel sieve as my dad sometimes makes fun of me. Um, as, of, uh, as of today, my Endless Ocean video has, uh, uh, or no, my last video of Lost Winds has gone up, so I've, I've finished another LP, yay. I kept talking to Hayako because I thought I was gonna get another chance to uh, level up Stephanie, my spectacled porpoise, to level three, but I did not get such a chance. So, yeah, I've been off of school for a little more than a month. Uh, spending that time... I'm finished with jury duty right now. It was grand jury, so they actually had me on a grand jury for four weeks, and I'm all done with that. I'm still doing a little bit of work study uh, at my school, which is open for the summer. And I'm spending some time with friends. So, yeah, we are in the... Antarctic Ocean looking for a mysterious monster and Hayako's giving us directions from the boat over the radio and yeah we get to swim around in the Antarctic. Well, I guess now comes the part where I have to actually think of something to talk about. So uh, yeah I'm doing well I suppose. It's been a pretty rainy week but I'm happy to be alive I suppose. Um, I have been watching, I was like, I was like curious to see if there are any people on YouTube who have done speedruns of The Desolate Hope, and I found this one guy, his name is like Ak Akko Cake, Akku Cake, or something, and his best time is like an hour and 45 minutes, and... I love that game, so that run was really fun to watch. Here's a new creature, Antarctic Krill. A bunch of small shrimp that does swim around. Um, so... It's funny because, uh, I don't know, he was like, This game needs more speedrunners. Please run it, I'm lonely. And I was like, oh man, that sounds like something I would enjoy, but I'm probably never going to be a speedrunner. There are some people, I don't know, who are, who are LPers and also pretty good speedrunners, but like, I don't know, I'm too much a casual gamer. Like, if I spent that many hours into my life playing a game and practicing a speedrun, like, the things that you have to do to be a good speedrunner, you have to have, like, inhuman, like, reflex time. Like, this girl was playing Aladdin on the Super Nintendo, and she's like, Oh yeah, to get the damage boost, you have to turn the opposite direction six frames before you hit the spikes. Just like that, I did it. Not only are they doing these frame-perfect commands, but they're also commentating, and they sound so relaxed. Anyway, and we're talking about Emperor Penguins. And I love, I love these little scenes, because they just feel like watching a documentary. There have been so many documentaries and stupid movies about penguins, so I don't know which one to make a reference to, but, uh... You know what they say about penguins? They're pretty flipping brilliant. Anyway. Get it? No. So... That... I was confused because he was like... He's telling us to visit the penguins. But I thought we had already visited them because we were watching them. But no, that must be just for the first time you go ashore at all in the Antarctic. 
but see here are not actually the penguins. But now here's where Hayaka told us to go investigate for our investigation of this uh, mysterious creature. Hayako here, over. Looks like you're there. Yeah, this is where the sighting was. Can't say anything's jumping out as me as strange, though. Animals? Sure, let me see. There's a southern elephant seal, another seal with its young, and a few birds, that's all. I see, just as I thought. Based on what you just told me, I believe I know the identity of the creature, and the text is going by so fast that I can't keep up with it, so I'm just kind of talking around. Oh, oh. Good picture of the creature's movements. I'm pretty sure you'll find it in the Hall of Radiance. What kind of creature is it? Well, I don't want to ruin the surprise. Aw, oh, come on. Let's go to the Hall of Radiance. Because they can't possibly talk while they're getting right, like, while they're standing up. Anyway. This is so beautiful. It's so pretty. Like, yeah, it's just so pretty. And I was actually looking around to see if any of these were new creatures, but also because they said, oh, there are a few birds here, and I was like, well, I don't see any birds. There are no birds here. I don't see any birds. Bud. Butter. Okay. Um, yeah. This is pretty. I like icebergs. I like, I like ice. I like snow. It's just pretty. Look at the sky. It's just so pretty. I have a magazine... I get like a magazine like all about like rural America and like life in rural America even though I very much am a city person but I just love nature like sometimes I wish I lived out in nature and the one that's like special issue all about Alaska and I just love Alaska I'm like obsessed with Alaska I know I did I wrote my video description like three years ago or something like that and it still says I love Homestar Runner, The Legend of Zelda, Alaska, Outer Space. I might have said Lewis Carroll, but I don't know. I don't know that, that I did. Yeah, Lewis Carroll. Oh my gosh. Lewis Carroll wrote some good stuff. Besides Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, he wrote Sylvie and Bruno. He wrote a whole lot of poems and short stories. Gotta read some of that stuff. I got the complete works of Lewis Carroll for, I think it was my 11th birthday. And... It's funny that it's packaged... Like... I've seen it at Barnes & Noble. It's the same exact book, but it's a different color. It, uh, cover. It says, like, Alice... Alice in Wonderland and other stories or something. And I look inside and I'm like, yeah, that's the complete works of Lewis Carroll. It's printed the same way as, as my copy and everything. Which is not really an accurate way of advertising it because it's a, a much more like poetry and logic puzzles and like games that he just invented. I love these guys. Hydromiles Globulosa. They are very glo globular. I love, I love that word, globular. When I was in 10th grade, I didn't call it glo a global class. I called it globular. It may not have a sh shell, but it belongs to the shellfish family. I think whoever named these guys got it just right. Aw, sea angel. Those are some of my favorite creatures in the game. Also, somehow we found the uh, ice cupid, but we didn't find a regular sea angel yet. I don't even remember the video where we found the Ice Cupid. It might have just happened, like, randomly, and I was like, oh, there's the Ice Cupid. But yeah, those are sea angels. That's just amazing that a creature like that exists. Like, now I want to see one in real life. That's the joy of this game. Alright, we're about to enter the Hall of Radiance. We get some... We get this... Oh, no. We get, it's just this song. It's not harp. It's not Isle of Innis for you that begins with like that harp solo. Hey, well here's harp, but it's not a harp solo. It's not a harp solo. What am I talking about? I'm talking about some good harpists like Cheryl Ann Fulton and Aaron Hill. There should be leopard seals in the area. That's the king of the leopard seals. He's the mystery creature we've been looking for. Blah, blah, blah. 
yeah, he just thought the reporter was a penguin and chased after him. Okay. Leopard seals have been known to break through. Never mind. I can't even. Well, that's really interesting and all, but I was hoping for something a bit more exciting. Oh, boohoo. So sad, bad dad. No reaction at all when approached. Behavior truly befitting of Leo, king of the leopard seals. He gathered together all the other leopard seals in the region and taught them how to hunt as a pack. The seal's strength is rivaled only by his intelligence. You learned a new title. Light Panther. I love that. So, uh, I think we're doing pretty well on the, all the legendary creatures that we have to find. Uh, a lot of them were gui kind of guided to them by certain side quests. But yeah, this guy is pretty cool. You, got, you can see the scars on his body. Mysterious wisdom shines in his eyes. I like that. The most powerful and daring of all the seals. It's, if you read it, and I just skimmed through it, it's just like, it's talking about like how Leo is like, Leo is like a leader. Maybe he's a Leo, that's his zodiac sign. And, and he like, he got all the seals in the area to act as a pack. He's like a mob boss for s seals. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one where hopefully stuff will happen.